Good. We're in the finals. And two familiar foes. Good friends. The minus 59 kilogram division. That's a solid punch. It's Gavin Grant from Kansas taking on Augustus Schultz of Minnesota. Oh, that's a nice axe kick. Over the shoulder from Schultz. Finds a way with that left leg to take it up over the shoulder. And another. Follows with another. So Augustus Schultz hits one head kick and another. And all of a sudden, Gavin Grant looks up, and it's 10-0. Goes Augusta Schultz with a hot start. And a solid front leg hook. It gets tangled up, has the wherewithal to sh shake his, his foot to the left and score with that front leg hook. A sneaky front leg there. And another, so... Chipping away to lead this Grant as he is now good physical and a physical punch. So, so ten unanswered from Schultz, followed by five unanswered points from Gavin Grant. Uh, there's an inside. That's seven consecutive points for Gavin Grant. And great round for both athletes. This Augustus Schultz starts off hot. Ten consecutive points. And there's a seven-point answer for Gavin Grant. So Grant just down three, but Augustus Schultz being coached by Ron Harris. Over here, Seth Wilchin coaching Gavin Grant. Good okay, winner takes the gold here at this Fort Worth Regional Championship. This is the Grand Prix Central Region. We're in minus 59 kilograms. This is round two. Augusta Schultz clinging to a three-point advantage over Gavin Grant. Oh, nice. Very close for Schultz. Nice try there. Gavin Grant doing good work to the body. And Augusta Schultz looking for that little flip they got early. And he got one there. So now he had he got he got a body shot, I beg your pardon. And there's a punch there. So 12 8. So and that hurt Schultz a little bit. And Augusta Schultz doing good work. So he gets those head kicks. As he finds a way to get it up over the shoulder. And Grant adds one of his own. So he adds a body shot of his own. So now it's at 15 and 10. 15-11, that's another big punch by Grant. So Grant really can find the punch. Can he cover his head? Augusta Schultz done a great job of scoring to the head. Oh, that's a beautiful head kick. A chasing axe kick by Augustus Schultz finds him kind of stuck there and gets him again. So he's finding those head kicks early and often. Those are good punches by Gavin Grant, but, but too many head kicks so far from Schultz. He's got a 10-point advantage. He's had himself an excellent second round. Sneaky axe kick by Schultz. Gavin Grant does a great job moving his head out of the way. But right now, it's it's Gavin Grant scores, but he gives up a punch too. So a body shot to punch, and it's an eight-point advantage for Augusta Schultz going into round number three. So great round for Schultz as he extended that advantage from three up to eight.
So third round action coming up for the championship and the gold medal. Minus 59 kilogram division. Let's do it. It's Gavin Grant in the blue, 15. Augustus Schultz, red. He's 23. So the eight point advantage for Schultz. Ninety seconds to the championship. Here we go. And let's go right here. Oh, that's a big punch. So Gavin Grant scores. He always did a deduction for hold, for uh, holding there. So. Oh, and Grant scores again. It's getting interesting now. Here comes Gavin Grant, as he does often. Big kicks late in the round. He's finding the range, finding that body shot. There's a punch, and he's only down three points. And he's been able to move his head. And he nicks the Hager, and it doesn't come up, unfortunate for Grant. But he's moving his head, so he's not getting scored on by that axe kick that hit him so often early on. And another shot. 30 seconds is a one-point advantage. Grant on the attack. Can Schultz keep him off? Oh, and Grant takes the lead. He scores a punch. He goes a body shot. He scores two body shots. Right punch and a left. There's one punch there. Can he hold off? Grant takes the lead. He's up three. That's a good punch. Can he hold off Augustus Schultz? Augustus Schultz with a nice spin kick. Can he do it? And that's a smart hold, but it's Gavin Grant. What a comeback for Gavin Grant as he takes, takes out Augustus Schultz. What a match to end the day. That is as good as it gets, but it is Gavin Grant with a smoking comeback against Augustus Schultz. Augustus Schultz, great match today. So we'll be back with the interview with our winners, but we're going to rotate around. We're going to rotate around to one of our other champions. Right, put it in your right ear. I just cleaned it, okay? Bye, Maya. Congratulations. Thank you. We're here with our champion, Maya Mata. And Maya, uh, tell us what category you fought in because it's been a little bit. I fought in under 25 world. Yeah, class. world class, and you're world class because you we're gapping everybody out there today. Um, yeah, so it's first. Let me ask you, how does it feel to be back out here doing what you do best? It feels great. I mean, with the whole COVID thing, it's it really took I I took it at least as a time to self reflect and look back on the things I need to work for, and I'm just glad to do what I do. Yeah, you were amazing today. Um, what what's Whoa. next for you, Maya? Because coming off of a gold medal here at the uh, Grand Prix. Uh, is it nationals? I mean, what's your schedule for the rest of 2021? Honestly, I'm trying to go to as many tournaments as I can, get some ring time. Nationals is definitely here in San Antonio, so, so that'd be great. Yeah, no question. Not a long drive for you at yeah, all. Not a long drive. Yeah, no question. There, there you have it. It's Maya Mata, our champion. Look, she's a champion. You said minus 55? Yes. She's a minus 55 champion, but she's a champion in a lot of divisions. I just want to say, so good to have you back in the ring where you belong. Maya Mata, our gold medal in the minus 55. Congratulations, Maya. Yeah. Awesome job. Thank you. I'm going to rotate around to Gavin Grant. Yeah. Come on. Hustle, buddy. I'm alive. <laughs> Put it right here. Right here. Let's just walk out on the mat, all right? Good. We're here with the minus 59 kilogram champion, Gavin Grant. <laughs> Gavin, congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get real tough with you right off the bat. Yes, Why do you make this so hard on yourself to start so slow and give up 
10 point. No, I'm just kidding. Look, you're always down and you always find a way to get it done. That's a mark of a champion. Um, what was working well in the third round that wasn't working in the first round? You know, I just wasn't, I was just sticking to the game plan as early. You know, I needed to put more pressure on him from the beginning. And as you saw at the end, I was able to put more pressure on him, clinch and with a punch, and I was scoring those points, but they weren't scoring for me in the first two rounds. So we made the adjustment in the, in the, in the break to go put that pressure on and get my more points and fought my way, fought my way back into it. Yeah, I know. You continually do that. That's sort of becoming your MO is to find a way to get it done third round. Probably be nice to have a big lead and yes, get to sit on that, but but that's what champions do, and that's what you are. You're a champion, and it shows uh, with your maturity, game in and game out. So look, the the sky's the limit for you. But what's next for Gavin? Uh, it will be nationals, and then the Grand Prix finals after that. So that's what we're really looking forward to. Train hard for. Yeah, a senior medal now, a junior. Yes, sir. I mean, he's doing it all. He he is. He's the workhorse of USA Taekwondo, no question about it. It's Gavin Grant, our champion here today, the gold medalist in the minus 59 kilogram category at this GP. Congratulations, Gavin. Thank you, sir. Let's get the crowd.